It's long been viewed as a treasure of the French state and one of the world's biggest transport groups. The national rail operator, the SNCF, was officially set up back in 1938. Since then, it's grown and been expanded, and now 14 million people jump on board one of the company's trains worldwide every day, with 5 million passengers using one of the 15,000 services operated daily in France alone. The company runs a host of trains ranging from TGVs to local Transilien services, as well as the cross-channel Eurostar service, Thales trains to Brussels and Amsterdam, and the low-cost WeGo network. It manages 30,000 kilometres of track in total in France, 2,600 kilometres of which are high speed. SNCF is by and large still rated as one of the best rail operators in Europe in terms of speed, comfort, punctuality and price. It has a good track record when it comes to safety and it's had lots to celebrate in its 80-year history. A French TGV currently holds the world speed record for a commercial service set back in 2007. The company lists over 180,000 employees on its payroll in 120 countries around the world, with 12,000 additional staff members hired in France last year. Many rail workers, known as cheminots, have historic rights, including a job for life and the right to retire in their 50s. That's a decade earlier than other public sector workers. But the track ahead looks rocky. Turnover last year might have risen from the previous year to stand at 33 billion euros, but the government says the SNCF urgently needs a radical overhaul. The company is riddled with a massive 46.6 billion euros in net debt. That's a figure which rose a further 1.7 billion euros last year.